What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another crazy day here in the world of crypto. So all of a sudden the market is red. So why on earth is this happening? And what is this piece of information and news that everyone seems to have forgotten about over the last few weeks when we've been in this bullish momentum? That's what we're going to be discussing today. Plus where I personally think the market's going to go. We're going to be checking out the Bitcoin chart and we're going to go through some pieces of news that you guys need to know to be fully up to date. So if you don't know me already, the name's Connor, not a financial advisor, a riser, advisor, just a random dude who can't say advisor sitting in his room. So if you have a spare second, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. It'll really help me out if you turn on notifications. And if you want to shout at me, do so down in the comments because it will really help me in the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, the overall market today looking red. Coin market cap down 2.6% with Bitcoin and Ethereum both down consecutively about 2.5% each. The whole market down between 2 and 5% here. We have seen Shiba down a little bit more at 7% and Dogecoin at 5%. Of course, those guys saw some good moves recently. Why has this happened? Well, we did see the FOMC meeting minutes come out and the Fed sees interest rate hikes continuing until inflation eases substantially. So we had the information that inflation hit 8.5%, which was better than the month before, 9.1%. But of course, like we've been saying here on the channel and loads of people have been saying, 8.5% is absolutely terrible still. It's nothing to celebrate, right? We need that to come down a lot more and the Fed completely agrees. And to be expected, they want it to come down a lot more before they start easing the interest rate hikes. So this is something that spooked the market. And just before we got the news, the market was also getting a little bit jittery as to what the news might be. But apart from the fact that they said that they want to see inflation rate ease substantially, which we basically already knew, there was nothing really more to it. So Bitcoin does seem to be reacting quite favorably but I do want to talk about this right here. So this is a rising wedge pattern and I want to discuss exactly what this means for crypto and what I'm going to be doing with this information. So more often than not, when we see a rising wedge in a downtrend, this more often than not results in a continuation. So again, another continuation pattern here. And what we would want to see for a trade opportunity would be for us to break down through this lower support here and come up and retest this line. Now, this is the daily chart that we're looking at right now. If we do flip this over to the four hour chart here, we can see that we may very well be doing that perfectly right now. If you are bullish and you want this market to continue, we of course want to break back above this line, which is definitely possible. But the more likely scenario is coming up, retesting it, which we may very well have already done, and then to head lower. This is the opportunity to catch the continuation of this, retesting the lows down here at 17.6. I think that's very, very possible. But with that said, if you do want to make your own trades, of course, I have up to $10,000 down there in my description that you guys can make the best of right now. But BitGet specifically, they have a $4,400 bonus. And if you don't want to trade yourself, you can head over to their copy trade feature here and you can automatically copy traders that sit in this section. Now, I made a full length video that you can check out right above my head right now about this. So please watch that before you get involved because there is a lot of risk here. We can make some gains, but we can also lose. So you need to understand exactly how to do this properly before you get involved. But if we do head over to my own dashboard, we can see that I currently am in a profit of $168. I put in $1,000 to test out one trader. I spoke about how I find traders in the video just before, which I'll also link down there in the description. But right now it's been about four days and I have $168 profit from a thousand. So that's about 16% profit totally passively. The trader opens up a number of trades here and is completely passive. So something that I definitely suggest you guys check out. And let's talk about the little piece of news that everyone seems to have forgotten about. Even I forgot about over the last few weeks that we've had this nice bullish momentum. But Mt. Gox, Mt. Gox is releasing their Bitcoin. This article is actually very good because it explains exactly what's happening. So first of all, if you don't know what's happening, Mt. Gox, a Japan-based cryptocurrency exchange, lost around 850,000 Bitcoins in an alleged hack back in 2014. It has been reported that the creditors will begin to receive some of the stolen assets. However, this event has rise to vital concerns regarding the price stability of Bitcoin. So that's the reason why people are worried. There was a hack. Some of these coins have been recovered and now some 
some of these coins will be returned to the creditors or the investors. So as per reports, Mt. Gox trustees supervising the case announced that they were preparing to make some Bitcoin repayments. The firm's trustee have even offered creditors an early lump sum repayment in order to settle the debts. The creditors now can either accept or decline the offer. So this is what's happening now. However, experts suggest that some creditors may decline this offer in hope that in the future some more funds will be recovered. So there is still hope here. In order to power the Bitcoin price fear, uncertainty and doubt, creditors will need to select the early repayment option. This will mean that Bitcoin will become payable. This will potentially hit the order books of the open market. So essentially, they've got those two choices. If they go for the early repayment option, this is the one that we're worried about. Meanwhile, to reimburse the losses, creditors will have two options to choose from. First, we'll be getting paid in the native currency. This will be the com this will be a combination of Bitcoin, BCH or yen. The second option will be to let the trustee liquidate the digital assets into cash. Now, if they choose that, how much can it impact the Bitcoin's price? In order to actually get the sell option where all of these coins are going to be sold, all creditors will need to opt for the early redemption option. Meanwhile, Mt. Gox has not been able to recover the full 850,000 Bitcoins. It recovered 140,000 of the stolen Bitcoin. As per the data, 140,000 Bitcoin will only make up 8% of the cumulative daily volume. This is a statistically minimal in comparison to the market. And this could potentially have a very low impact on the price of Bitcoin. Of course, this is something to be prepared for. And we don't know the exact time the release is going to happen. So we may get blindsided by a massive flood of Bitcoin entering the market. So pay very close attention to this. Now, moving on, we do have the greed and fear down at a 30 today, moving into a more fear fearful state than yesterday out of 41. Like I've said on the channel, I think this is a good thing because the market isn't getting too euphoric too quickly. And we do have another piece of not so good news, the DXY, which has created a pretty good indicator as to whether or not we're in a bull or a bear market. Right now, we have seemingly put in a higher low and are making a trajectory upwards to so may not be very good for the market there. With that said, let's talk about a little bit of news today. The Ethereum founder makes it clear the merge will not improve fees and throughput. I did make a video on this. You can see it above my head right now, but please pay attention to the fact that the merge will not improve the fees or the speed of the network. On top of that, we do have Bitcoin Ethereum slides for fourth consecutive day. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this was because we spoke about the buy, to, buy the rumor, sell the news that may happen with the ETH merge. And I explained to you guys that we don't know when the selling might happen. We could already have started the selling. Remember, Ethereum got up to over 100% gains from the lows. So the selling may already have started for this. So do pay attention to that. There is no saying that Ethereum will get any more gains before this merge. And I know a lot of people are involved in Ethereum solely because of the merge to get those gains. So please pay attention to that. Don't buy into the hype. You need to be buying early when the market is really scared. That's why you need to be following this channel and have the notifications on. Anyway, moving on from that, we also have CDPQ loses hope on 150 million Celsius bet. So this was a Canadian pension giant and they had 150 million investment into Celsius and they've essentially written that off. Now, this isn't good for them, the people who invested into the pension, and also for the overall outlook onto crypto from other institutions. They've given up on Celsius, but although this is sad news and bad for uh, the outlook on Celsius, I don't think this necessarily reflects crypto itself. It does definitely reflect on which platforms people should be choosing with things like pensions, with things like money that people are relying on. They shouldn't be putting their money on platforms that are lending out those cryptos, right, to get these huge returns. That's the issue here. And this whole collapse has been based around these lending platforms and of course Luna. So we've learned some significant lessons from this and we'll come back from the ashes bigger and better than ever in my humble opinion. Now, to finish this video off, I just wanted to let you know that Google has invested over 1.5 billion in crypto-focused companies. So if Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and all of that nonsense was dead, why would one of the biggest companies on earth be investing billions of dollars into it? I'll leave that question with you guys. Let me know down in the comment section what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.